When you listen to an orchestra, band, or chorus, you will hear a variety of parts. In an orchestra, you might hear violins, violas, cellos, and string bass. Separately, each part may sound fine, but when mixed together with the other parts, it can sound spectacular. Multiple tracks in an audio recording work in much the same way. A single track by itself may work well, but if you add additional tracks, you can create a work of art. Of course, if you're familiar with music, you know there are periods in a piece called rests, when an instrument doesn't play. Imagine if the members of an orchestra ignored those rests and played everything at the same time. It would be a confusing mess. That's why musicians have sheet music to tell them when to play and when not to play. An Audacity project acts just like sheet music when you combine multiple tracks into one audio file. Audio tracks are not played in the order they appear in the window, top to bottom, but by the order they appear along the timeline, left to right. By moving audio tracks to different points along the timeline, different tracks will be heard at different times. This can help to create a logical flow for your audio file rather than a confusing jumble of voices or music. You've imported multiple tracks into an Audacity project, but they all start at the same time and it sounds jumbled and confused. You'll use the Time Shift tool to move the tracks around. We've got three different tracks in this project, but it's difficult to see them completely. We can fix this using a command on the View menu. The View menu gives us a number of options. We can zoom in or out on our tracks and even dock or undock our toolbars. Fit in window sounds like a command that might work for us, but in fact it only makes tracks fit the window horizontally. Our tracks already fit that way, so let's make them fit vertically too. Now all of the tracks are visible within the project window. As you can see, our tracks are currently set to all start playing at the same time. Let's give it a listen. The way that you should water your plants Welcome varies depending podcast. on whether they are planted or potted. In-ground plants should be watered in the morning or late afternoon. Wow, that doesn't sound very good. If you've got multiple tracks playing and you want to hear only one or two, you can use the solo or mute buttons found in each track's control panel. Clicking the solo button makes that track audible. Clicking the mute button makes that track silent. Let's try out the solo buttons on the first two tracks and find out if they sound good together. With these two tracks set to solo, let's give our piece another listen. Welcome to Devon's podcast, coming to you from Apple Orchard Nursery. In our weekly podcast, we share information the first two tracks work well together because the second track is only background music. We'll have to move the last track to make it work better. Audacity gives us a tool that makes it simple to move audio tracks along a timeline. It looks like a double-ended arrow and is found on the control toolbar. Now it's simply a matter of clicking and dragging the audio track to the place we want it in the timeline. Notice the timeline along the top of the project window. This indicates the number of seconds in our project. Let's move the third track to a point after the first track ends, but just before the second track ends. If this were the actual application, the mouse pointer would change to the time shift mouse pointer. This third track will start playing after the first one ends and before the second one ends. Once your tracks are organized, always make sure to listen to the whole thing and see if everything is in the right order. In order to do this, first you'll need to deselect the solo feature from the first two tracks. Welcome to Devon's podcast, coming to you from Apple Orchard Nursery. In our weekly podcasts, we share information about our gardens, 
provide plant care tips, and let you know the best times to plant seasonal plants. In this episode, we'll introduce our pumpkin patch, discuss how to water potted plants, and talk about the different types of landscape plants. The way that you should water your plants varies depending on whether they are planted or potted. In-ground plants should be watered in the morning or late afternoon with a timed irrigation system. Potted plants should be watered according to their type, and instructions usually come on their plant tags. This sounds so much better than the mixed-up sounds we originally heard. Audacity makes it easy to manipulate tracks along a timeline. Always remember to listen to the project to make sure all the tracks are placed properly.